afternoon. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful uh, occasion to get together and to be able to share uh, the results of all the work that's been put into the preparation for this program. Uh, if I was honest, I'd tell you that a couple of weeks ago that we were debating about whether to keep going. <laughs> and then it started to come together, and it's, uh, uh, I think it's going to be a blessing to you today. You know, the theme of it surrounds the names of the Lord. And uh, that's been something that we've focused on in this season last year and again this year with our ornaments, with the names of Jesus uh, written on them. And you'll hear names of Jesus throughout the program today. And, uh, and, and, and we want to encourage you to let the Holy Spirit plant the seeds of one of those names in your heart that you can just kind of carry with you. Maybe the Lord has a word to share with you, to bless you with during this season and looking to the names of the Lord and just receiving that as his testimony to you of his presence and of his power working in your life. Well, let me open us up with a word of prayer, and then I'm going to introduce uh, Claude Setzkorn, who has a special reading to share with us this afternoon. So let's join together in prayer. Almighty God, we are so grateful and thankful to all who have labored so hard for this program to come together. And God, it's always a joy and a delight to us whenever we see the way in which we can come together and things fall into place. You work that out through your Holy Spirit many times over in our lives where we see you produce uh, events with those kind of divine appointments involved. And we marvel, God, at the, at the amazing way in which you are purposefully putting things together in our lives. And so, Lord, today as we are gathered, we celebrate the name of Jesus. He is named Jesus because he is the Savior, and that's what his name means. And we lift him up, O oh God, as the one who saves, the one who is King of kings and Lord of lords, the one who has redeemed us and rescued us from our sin. And so, dear God, to Jesus be all the praise and the glory today as we lift up the name Jesus. Amen. Claude, would you come and share with us that reading that you have to share today? Thank you very much. These are a few reflections that I was working on um, over the past few weeks, and I think the Lord's put something together that's important to hear. So I say good afternoon to one and all, and Merry Christmas to each of you. I remember several months ago when we first began rehearsing for this musical that I spoke to Janice, the director, and commented that this particular choral work really touched and inspired my heart because it painted such a vivid portrait of Jesus and pointed out so many aspects of his royal majesty. It was indeed like looking at the multiple facets of an exquisite diamond. The whole prophetic story of Christ coming to earth is well documented, but when it actually happened in the fullness of time, it was both stunning in its splendor and in its simplicity. While the kings of the Orient saw it and the common shepherds found the shepherd of their souls, the multitude of angelic hosts found it completely incomprehensible that Father God would risk his only child and allow him to leave the grandeur and glory of the eternal dwelling place to walk among his fallen creation. God took the risk, recognizing the danger of making Jesus completely vulnerable because he saw far, far ahead to the day when he could offer perfect redemption to all who would receive it. The words of a beautiful song written several decades ago, ago by Gloria Gaither speak powerfully of God's holy intentions when he and Jesus made the decision which would alter the course of history. Listen carefully to the true meaning of Christ's Bethlehem birth. He was just an ordinary baby 
That's the way he planned it, maybe. Anything but common would have kept him apart from the children he came to rescue, limited to some elite few, when he was the only child who asked to be born. And he came to us with eyes wide open, knowing how we're hurt and broken, choosing to partake of all our joy and pain. He was just an ordinary baby. That's the way he planned it, maybe, so that we would come to him and not be afraid. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you today. Now relax, prepare to celebrate with us as Galloway Church of Franklin presents the Christmas County Spelling Bee. Christmas County Spelling Bee, which began at Town Hall shortly, to be followed by the annual live major pageant, which she is always a highlight. This is a growing up for Brianna over here. Now does everyone know the rules? What an exciting time of year, Christmas, and we are here to celebrate the true reason for the season, Jesus. That is why it's become an annual tradition that we have a live manger scene at Town Hall. So many of you wanted to participate that the way we have chosen to select our cast is through this spelling bee competition. You see, nobody loses in this bee. Everyone participating would have part in the pageant honoring our Lord today. As a reminder, our contestants will be spelling the main names and titles of Jesus. 
That's right, there are over 700 in the Bible, and each one reveals to us his character and how he works in our lives. What a marvelous Christmas gift we received from our Father 2,000 years ago. Let's begin the B with the review. The ABCs of praise. Now, please listen up as I explain how the B will work. Once your number is called, please step up to the microphone. Then you will be given a name to spell. You may ask for a definition, a sentence, a song lyric, or a language of origin. If you hear this bell, what do you think it means? The wrong Christmas show. No. If you hear this bell, it means that you have spelled incorrectly. Please step down as you are told what part you'll be playing in the pageant. Then proceed over to our wardrobe lady, Mrs. Finch. Remember, our winner will be featured as either Mary or Joseph. Now, without any further ado, let's begin this year's annual Christmas County Spelling Bee. Contestant number 34, Amanda Allen. Please step up to the microphone. This is Amanda Allen's second year of the bee. Her brother, Ethan Allen, made it to the final round last year. Ready? R-E-A-D-Y? No. N-O. Stop. S-T-O-P. Those are not your words. Your word is Lord. Oh, Lord. L-O-R-D. Lord. Correct! Number 17, Katie Collins. Katie Collins is this year's cheerleading captain, and I'm sure she has many friends cheering for her today. Your word is word. Sentence, please. Your word is word. You just said that. Sentence, please. That was the sentence. Your word is word. Word is the word. Oh, that word, W-O-R-D, word. That's correct! Number 15, Jeffrey Johnson. Jeffrey Johnson is quite an athlete. He's on the football, basketball, and volleyball team. Spell, light. Light. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. L-I-G-H-T, light. That's correct. Number five, Ferris Wheeler. It's Weiler. Okay, Mr. Weiler, would you please spell El Shaddai? 
Are you kidding? Gotcha, Wheeler. It's Wyler. Just kidding. Your word is savior. Savior. S-A-V-I-O-R. Savior. That's correct! Number nine, Beatrice B. Beasley. Please spell the name Morningstar. Notice Miss Be- Miss Beasley's bogan inspired outfit. As I recall, she wore something similar last year. Morningstar. M O R N I N G S T A R. Morningstar. That's correct! Obviously. <laughs> Number 11. What? Is that even a word? Yes, it is, in the language of Orgenix Hebrew. Of course. Could I have a definition, please? Yahweh is the Old Testament name for the Lord God. Can I just spell God? You mean, may I just spell God? May I just spell God? No, we choose the words, Randy. This name was considered to be so sacred that for years it wasn't even spoken aloud. If they're not even supposed to be saying it, should I really be spelling it? Your word is Yahweh. Yahweh. Y-A-H-W-A-Y. Yahweh. Go get your costume. You'll be a wise man. Number 31, Bella McDowell. Please spell lamb. Song, please. Lamb, L-A-M-E, lamb. Bella McDowell! Number 31, go see Mrs. Finch. You'll be a shepherd lady tonight. That officially ends round one of the bees. Good work, everyone. Let's proceed on. What a fantastic job all our participants are doing spelling beautiful names of our Lord. Did you know that there's no other person in history that has as many names and titles? I think it's because his glory and greatness is beyond description. Let's get back to the bee round two. Contestant number 34, Amanda Allen. Your name to spell is Wonderful Counselor. I'm sure many of you remember Amanda Allen from last year. She was so tense, she froze up with the microphone. Oh no, not again. Breathe, Amanda, breathe. Again, number 34, wonderful counselor. For those of you who have never seen a deer in the headlights, she's doing a pretty good impression of one right now. (laughs) Breathe, Amanda, breathe. And right now, I think Amanda would probably be asking for a sentence, right? Sentence, please. He will be called a wonderful counselor. Amanda, and right now I think Amanda should probably be asking for a song. Oh good, this should give Amanda more time to calm down and get her nerves under control. As we listen to the song, praise the Lord as we lead him to his measure.
W O N D E R F U L C O U N S E L O R. I think Amanda Allen went to go see a wonderful counselor to calm her nerves. Great job, Amanda. Number 17, Katie Collins. Your word is fortress. Fortress. F-O-R-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Fortress. That's correct. Number 15, Jeffrey Johnson. Would you please spell the name Mighty God? Mighty God. In a manger bed was born a mighty God. <laughs> Can you use it in a really cool song, please? Let's listen to a really cool song about our mighty, mighty God. Mighty God, M I G H T Y G O D, Mighty God. That's correct. Ferris Wheeler. It's Weiler. Weiler! Okay, okay, number five. Would you please spell the name Everlasting Father? Everlasting Father. Father? Where's my father? My father's not here. My father's never around. Father, where art thou? I bet Jesus' father Joseph would as, was at his beak. Not my father. Not my father. Number five, come back. It appears that number five, Fearless Weiler, is a bit distracted. Perhaps if we go to a song, he gathers thoughts. <laughs>
Oh, look, there's my father. Hi, father. I knew he'd come. Everlasting father, E-V-E-R-L-A-S-T-I-N-G, F-A-T-H-E-R, everlasting father. That's correct. Moving along, number nine, Beatrice D. Beasley, would you please spell Prince of Peace? Prince of Peace, isn't that a good title for her? Beatrice Beasley is known for staying, as busy as to be all the time, but especially at Christmas time. Prince of Peace, P-R-I-N-C-O-F-P-E-A-C-E, -E. Prince of Peace. I guess it's bye-bye to Beasley. Beasley, you'll be an angel in the pageant. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially entering into our third and final round. Amanda Allen, spell Jehovah. Oh, here we go again. Can we have a sentence, please? I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. Isaiah 12, 2, that's my favorite verse. For I will not be afraid. Jehovah, J-E-H-O-V-A-H. That's correct! Number 17, Katie Collins. Please spell the name Restorer. Restorer. R-E-S-T-O-R-E? -E? Restorer? I'm sorry, there's one more R at the end of Restorer. Go get your shepherd costume, number 17. Miss Collins is out of the B. We are down to three. Number 15, Jeffrey Johnson. Please spell the name Mediator. Can I have a definition, please? Someone who intervenes in a dispute to come to an agreement. Kind of like a referee, right? Yes, Jeffrey. Kind of like a referee. Thank you. Referee. R-E-F-E-R-E-E. -E -E -E. Referee. I'm sorry, I thought that was more appropriate. Jeffrey, your word was mediator, not referee. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> you no. are out of the B. Can I speak to a mediator, please? Yes. <laughs> the decision of the referee, I mean judge, is final. Well, I thought I'd try. Bye. <laughs> Go get your wise man costume on, Jeffrey. Number five, Ferris Weiler, not Wheeler. Please spell the name Deliverer. Deliverer. D-E-L-I-V-E-R-E-R. -E -E Deliverer. That's correct! And then there were two. Do we have a Mary winner or a Joseph winner? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears we have a tie. According to the rules of the Christmas County Spelling Bee, when there are two contestants left, they are both to spell the same word by writing it down. Please take out your pads and move to separate sides of the platform. Contestants, please write down the correct spelling of Nazarene. So it was fulfilled what was said through the prophets. He will be called Nazarene. Matthew 2.23. May I see your answers, please? Nazarene. Nazarene. You are both correct. Good. Take out your pads and spell your final word. Please spell the name Emmanuel. Tension is high in town hall. Let's give them some additional time to think. As we sing to Emmanuel, which means God is with us. May I see your answers, please? <coughs> Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Well, it looks like Amanda spelled it correctly. I-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. No, Ferris spelled it correctly. E-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. Order, order in the town hall. I said order. <laughs> it appears we have a Mary 
and a Joseph winner. You are both correct. Congratulations. Congratulations, Amanda and Ferris. Great job. The first pageant has been cast, and we are just moments away. Can I have the stage crew bring in our manger set, please? If I may, I would like to add a personal thank you to all our contestants. Like many of you, I have learned the many names and titles of Jesus. That's correct. He truly is our wonderful counselor, our mighty God, and so incredibly much more. Emmanuel, our God, has been with us ever since he entered that wonderful holy night in a manger bed. Come, let's worship and praise our Savior and Lord, Jesus, the name above all names. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to all men. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. This Christmas, if you've asked Jesus to be your Savior and Lord, the Bible says he's written your name in the, mo in the palm of his mighty hand. Hey, kids, how do you spell love? J-E-S-U-S, Jesus. For unto us a child is born. For unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called? Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Wonderful Counselor, Jesus, the name above all names.
Am I on? Okay. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, we had a blast, as you can tell. They're pretty tame. Normally when we sing that last song, they're like jumping all over the place. Um, but as you can tell, we had a great time. The kids did awesome. The choir is always sparkling and beautiful. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for coming. Those parents that gave up time with your kids on Sundays to be here for practice, thank you. Uh, before you leave tonight, make sure you grab some cookies. We have amazing cookies out there. There are, no, you don't want them to take them? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and take some cookies. Eat some before you leave. There are baggies on the tables that you can take home with you tonight as well. Um, but I did want to say thank you to a few people. Um, and, of course, she's hiding up in the booth. <laughs> but uh, the other part to this is Wendy Shivak. She is up in the back in the booth. But she... Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Wendy Shevok is kind of my go-to girl, anything musical, anything play-related, so it's always a blessing to have her. Um, I want to give a round of applause to Janice, who just spends a lot of time <laughs> with me and as we go through all these things, um, but also our tech. And we kind of have a, a slew. We had this morning one of our main guys texted and said he was sick, so we had to scramble this afternoon. and find something, uh, somebody to fill in. But we have Jamie Daly and Andy Daly who have been with us the whole time. I believe Jamie's up there. She's just hiding. And then Paul stepped in today to help run sound and all that good stuff. Um, and then obviously Mike Cable, who's always hiding in the booth, <laughs> is up there tonight too. Yeah, but the important, the important people are the cookie people. I mean, am I, am I right? <laughs> All right, so I, I'm, I'm going to just try. I'm going to start with Kelly Brawler. Kelly Brawler is a, the kind of the lead for me for all of that, just taking that over and do, getting the cookies together. I showed up, and I was like, what do I do? And she was like, you can ice. And I was like, this is great. Somebody's telling me what to do. So it was just awesome to come with her crew um, to decorate cookies. And then, obviously, our choir who put in time and all of these lovely students who give up their time, too. So, I'm going to hand it over to Pastor Roy as he comes up to close us out. And I do have to say one thing before he gets up here from my favorite Christmas movie of all time. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, this has uh, been wonderful. 
Uh, we are so grateful to uh, Colleen and all involved here today to put this together. And uh, so uh, it's time to share a little bit of tongue tingling pleasure out in the fellowship area. So uh, let's, uh, let's just stand up together. We're going to have a word of prayer and close, <laughs> and then we'll send you off, all right? Almighty God, thank you for Jesus. He is the name above all names. He is the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the one who has a never-ending love for us. He is Emmanuel, who is ever with us, our wonderful counselor. And so, Lord, we give to you all the glory and the praise for, that is due to, your, due to your name, in fact, to the many names that name the greatness and the glory that you present. So, Lord, as we head out into this season, as we count down this last week to uh, Christmas, God, I pray that this would be a time whenever we really draw close with you, that we really get tight with the real reason for the season, that we don't lose that in the midst of all of the shuffle and all the craziness, but, God, that in the midst of all of this, that we would find that brightness of your glory in our hearts and focus and center our lives upon you more and more intensely as we grow closer and closer to the day when we celebrate your birth. So to, go to Jesus be all the glory and praise. Amen. 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 And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.